Welcome to Lockdown TV. Welcome to Advocacy for All. <laughs> Advocacy for All, you can find us on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram at Bigger Voice. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel so you know when we're doing new videos. And I have with me uh, one of our members, George Manwaring. George, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, yes. Well, you, you tell the audience a little bit about yourself. I, I was born um, back in the early 60s. I was born with a, a slight learning problem and uh, I went to a mainstream school. I was brought up by foster parents and uh, I joined Advocacy for All, what, must be a good nearly, good 10 years ago now. Right. And since then, I've, you know, been helping people around. I've become a peer supporter with them and, and um, you know, I've been here, there and everywhere. Been to meetings all over the country. Well, not all over, but all over London and, you know, and um, all over Kent. You know, so uh, yeah. yeah. So, um, tell us a little bit about how you've been dealing with the the, the COVID nineteen outbreak, and and how you've had to deal with uh, the self isolation. So for the last few weeks, we've we've stopped running sessions. Uh, we've not had any coffee mornings. We obviously can't meet up. How have you been dealing with um, self isolating at home? Not too bad. I've been bit. I've been a bit bored. I've been. I've been able to go out and about, um, and do some. Um, you know, a little bit of exercise. I've been able to go to the uh, the shops a couple of the times. Um, I found it, it. It's been a bit strange because you're so used to hearing traffic around and people outside chatting and stuff like that. And uh, it's been very strange, you know. You've been going to bed. It's been so. It's been quiet during the day, as well as it. Be, it's been like a being a Sunday. Every day has yeah. been like a Sunday. Sunday's usually quiet anyway, especially around here anyway. Uh, I've been able to go to work of a Friday. I do. I do a little bit of work on a, as a fr on a Friday afternoon. So I've been able to go there and meet. Um, there's been a couple of teachers there I've been able to meet and have a chat to and whatever. But um, I, I'm, I'm getting there. It's, it's not been too bad. Now the weather's brightened up, it's not too bad. I can go out and about and get some fresh air in my lungs. And, uh, I was talking to Viv the other day and she said, have you noticed that the mist has lifted? There's been no... Because all the, you don't see so many cars around. There's not been, you know, so it hasn't been so misty outside and so so smoggy, is it really? So I said, yeah, I, to be honest with you, I said, yeah, I, I didn't notice it, but I, I said, I have now. I said, the only time I see it's misty is if it, you know, it's going to come over raining or something. Because if I look out my front window now, I can see some fields over the back. And usually you can tell if it's going to rain, it comes that way, you know. And, uh, but um, yeah, yeah it's, um, it's been hard, but... You know, it's uh, I found myself things to do. I've started doing the Lego, and um, so it's just you know just trying to find things to do, doing me washing, just general things that you know need doing really. You know, so uh, yeah, yeah. And how's your mental health been? It was a bit tuck and go at the beginning. I thought to myself, you know, well. What, what am I going to do? I've got no, the only time I can talk to people is either on the phone or on this or whatever. And I've got, I, you know, uh, I, you're like me. I like meeting people. So I like going out there meeting people. And you can't do it. And it's been playing havoc with my mental health, I think. I just, I, I just couldn't stand being here on my own. I wanted, to, you know, other people around and, that's why I, that's why in general I miss the meetings because I like mixing with other people and seeing other people around you know? and um, 
you know, it's it, it's been hard, but as I say, now the weather's brightened up, it's um, it's not too bad at the moment. So I've uh, I've uh, I've find as I say, just finding me just sitting there finding myself things to do, watching a lot of telly lately. So they're showing them um, uh, one of the ninety uh, the the twenty fourteen uh, county championship game at the moment. So Lancashire versus Middlesex, the relegation. <laughs> We were, we were chatting about this over the weekend, weren't we? About uh, cricket. So the, I was watching the head. <laughs> I was my sister this morning because I was speaking to her this morning. I said I was doing. I said I was doing the running commentary for one of my supporters who phoned me the other day. <laughs> what I was watching. <laughs> yeah. I said, well, yeah, yeah, and I was very, very grateful. Very, very grateful, <laughs> mate. <laughs> so tell me, uh, which yeah. is the. Um, which which of the England games have you have uh, have have you enjoyed watching over the past few days? England cricket. What have you been watching? I've liked some of the one day internationals they've been showing. Mm. Uh, I like when they showed the um, when we won the World Cup earlier uh, last year. Yeah. They were showing that. And they, oh, when did I show? I showed that on Saturday, and also while well, the game was well. You know, while they were showing the recording of the game, they had like yeah. a podcast with each and some of the players that took part, like Joe Root and uh, all, you know, doing a podcast. Same type of thing as what we're doing here, you know, over uh, yeah. Rob Key. I think Mike was on there as well. Uh, Nasser Hussein. Uh, yesterday, they, they were talking about a game in the 90s with Alex Stewart and yeah. uh, Darren Coff. When he took that hat trick, I think I think it was a hat trick of the last game of the Ashes series, I think. Yeah. And um, you know, it was getting dark, and he was taking. Um, he took three. What was it? Three wickets in three balls, and it was. <laughs> you can tell it was you know, and uh, they managed to get off. Um, and they showed the head, the, the headingly one against South Africa, where they won the oh, series. Wow. Yeah. In the ninth. You know, with uh, Alex Stewart was the captain at the time, and uh, yeah, yeah. So, and they was out, they were chatting to chatting to some of the players that took part. You know, so yeah, yeah, it was good. So they're not playing any of the Ashes. Um, they started playing them before they showed the Headingley one. They did show, I think, the first was it the first first two tests where Australia won the first one. And we, uh, well, I say just, I think we got away, well, they got away with the draw in the second test because of the weather. If we'd have, um, you know, we, I think we needed two wickets to win and they batted out the last couple of overs or something uh, at law. And they, as I say, then they showed full highlights of the uh, Headingley test, which they still say is one of the greatest tests ever, didn't they? So. Yeah, no, absolutely. Especially the absolutely. way they... Oh, Stokesy was playing. Mm. Yeah. Actually, just out of curiosity, who would you put as your um, uh, player of the match for 2019 for England? Yeah. Well, for the World Cup or for the um, the, the tests? If you, I'd I'd say I'd say generally, who is who is your player of the year? If you had to choose one player. Oh. Um... One player, I, I would go for Ben Stokes actually because he, yeah. he had that. It, it was typical, like Ian Botham. He had that never say die attitude. Right. We can win, win this game, or we can draw this game. So we'll go out there. We'll see if we can take five wickets, or we'll take a spectacular catch, or something like that. You know, or you know, go out there and say, well, you know. You're batting. Um, I'm, I'm out there batting. You 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 can't bat. You can't bowl to me if I'm batting like this. You know, it's very difficult when he when he gets in that mood. It's very difficult to bowl at, isn't he? You know. I it's think interesting that's you happened. brought up. Sorry, it's interesting you brought up both of them as well. <laughs> yeah. Because, because he was good with both bat and ball as well, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was. Um, he took a few, uh, a few, few catches as well, in, 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 especially off the spinner. I think he's very good in the slips off the spinner. 
you know so yeah and um, as we wrap sorry carry on the only player was uh Moen Ali he he just he just I think he just lost it in the end because he's um you know yeah so um as we bring this um conversation to a close um is there any message you'd like to send out to any of our members or anyone generally uh when we post this just stay safe keep uh, on what they say keep your pecker up it'll all be over soon you know it'll um and then we can all meet up and have a nice drink and think well what what was all that about you know and uh, <laughs> Mine's a pint, by the way. I, yeah. I know. <laughs> I said to Sarah the other day, I said, I'll get in touch with the Greyhounds if they can reserve a chair, reserve, reserve a space for us, because we'll all be in there. You know. So, uh, yeah. We should have our own table. That's what we should, that's what we should try and sort out. I'll hire, I'll hire a big table. So right now, that's us down there. We're all down there. Leave us, <laughs> leave, leave, leave us to the drink. And, uh, we'll be, we'll be happy, you know. As, as Tracy says, well, we'll have a group hug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it's safe to. <laughs> yeah, when it's safe to. Yeah, when they, yeah, when all this is, what they say, when it's all blown over. Yeah. Still. Well, listen, George, thank you ever so much. This was um, an interesting experiment, wasn't it? We didn't know how this was going to work out. Um, but we'll post this now. Um, uh, for people who are watching, uh, this is Lockdown TV. This is from Advocacy for All. Um, if you haven't yet, uh, at the, at the uh, bottom of the screen, there should be a like button. Please hit the like button. It's really, really good to do that for us. And also, if you want to know about more videos and new videos that we're going to be putting up, um, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, George, uh, for those people who would like to follow you on Twitter, what is your Twitter handle? Uh, George Man Wearing 4. George Man Wearing 4. And I am Isaac uh, Googie. Uh, and George Man Wearing at George Manwaring 04. Yeah, so the audio is coming in and out a little bit here. Uh, and um, yeah, and um, you can follow me on Twitter at Isaac Googie. Uh, and the spelling will be right here, right now as we speak. So um, listen, thank you ever so much, George. Uh, speak to you very, very soon. Um, yes, you've been watching Lockdown TV. This is from Advocacy for All. Many thanks for watching. See you later.